What is going on everybody out there in YouTube land? Uh, today I'm going to do a little review here of my uh, Beretta 92X Centurion uh, G model. Uh, a few days back I did a uh, review on the 92X Compact and uh, my viewer uh, asked me if I'd do a review of the Centurion. So, I will. Uh, I can't really do an unboxing for it because it's been long out of the box, but I can tell you this. Uh, it ships with uh, three 17-round uh, magazines. Um, that And it also comes with a uh, wraparound grip, uh, too. Uh, the 92X has that straight back, and if you like that old traditional feel with the hump on the back, this... Uh, Wraparound grip will do that for you, and you may notice uh, I spray painted this guy uh, kind of an olive green. That's because I had it on my uh, M9A3 for uh, quite a while. I swapped these out. These are lock grips, and uh, I had it on there. That's one thing I've liked about the 92X and the M9A3 is you can... Uh, Swap grips in and out. This one came with a rubber wraparound grip, and I had it on uh, the Centurion for a while. But that's what it ships with. Um, three 17 rounders and a wraparound grip, and then, you know, the lock and the manual and all that. Uh, this is a, a G model. So, the uh, safety does uh, flip back up, and uh, I'll show you the, the, the trigger pull. And it's pretty nice. It's got these, the 92Xs are shipping with the uh, D springs in there. So the double pull is actually really good. And you know what I did is I took this apart and I got out my Dremel and some uh, flits. And I polished up the uh, hammer, those little uh, ridges on the hammer and the sear. And I, I just kind of smoothed all those out with the... Uh, a little bit of really, really fine grit sandpaper and some flits on a Dremel. And this thing's, you know, smooth uh, as butter. Here's the single action. Pretty crisp. It's a crisp single action pull. And uh, here's the reset. It's a little longer reset than I like. But, I mean, on a carry pistol, I mean, how much do you need on the reset so you can fix that with a uh, Langdon tactical uh, trigger bar if you want a shorter reset I put one on my uh, M9A3 and uh, I'll show you what it what it does extremely short and crisp if you're interested um, I'd give you one of those. I did upgrade the uh, sights. They originally shipped with the Centurion shipped with these flat sights like here on the compact. If I can get that in there. Show you that. It's kind of the flat back and the orange dot. So I did put some Ameriglow uh, Spartan sights on here. And... That, there's, these are night sights. This back here, these glow. That comes into focus. So does the front. If I can get that to focus there. So these are really nice sights. I like them. This is my uh, nightstand pistol. So I kind of have the trio. My, my farm duty pistol. This is my uh, carry pistol. I did a review on this one uh, not too long ago. I actually took it out and shot it and broke it in and cleaned it up and uh, lubed it up, and this one's ready to go. This one's nice. This one shoots well. Uh, and that's a keeper. So, uh, I can take it apart and show you what's under here. So, take down on Beretta 292s. Uh, the X's, it's the same. It's really easy. You just, uh, push this button here on the back, and flip down the lever, and it comes right out. It's pretty good on the uh, inside. 
you know, not a lot of tool marks around anywhere. So, and then like the compact I showed you, these ship with steel guide rods. So, I have shot this one, uh, I don't know, probably about 500 rounds through it, so it's got a little schmutz in there. But And these have the 4.25 inch barrel, so the shorter barrel on them, the compact barrel. Let's see if I can get all that back in there. I'm on a camera here. Get you there. Putting it back together real easy. Slide it on. Flip it up. And that's that. So let's uh, I'll weigh it for you. Get out my official United States Postal Service scale. So it's going to come in at 32.5. That's with an empty magazine. Well, now it's 2. Point. About 32.4. <laughs> okay, right in there. 32.4, 32.5. Uh, that's what that one's going to weigh. I weighed the compact the other day. That's 31.4. Um, the M9... Uh, A3 with a magazine. That one was uh, 34 and a half. Uh, the Glock 19. That's got a Hogue rubber grip on it, which adds a little. That's 24.4. Uh, maybe I'll give you one more here to compare it to. Here's a Sig Sauer uh, M11A1. This is just really the P229 kind of a military kind of carry version with no rail on it. Uh, this one's nice too. It's got a short reset trigger on it, but uh, that's coming in at 30.2, but that's got a 3.9 inch barrel. So you're losing some on the barrel and your sight radius. Uh, let's see what else. Now here's a Rex Zero One compact. That's 30.4. So just to compare some weights uh, with you. A little heavier, but you're getting 17 rounds and uh, a 4.25 inch uh, barrel on it. So that's nice. Um, let's see. A little size comparison. There you go. Compared to an M9A3. That's uh, compared to the compact. It's going to have a longer grip on it. But your. Uh, so there's your comparison to the, the compact. Longer grip, but you're getting, uh, well, four extra rounds. Uh, these this one ships with 13 rounders now one thing I forgot to tell you in the my review on the compact if you want to watch that video too is Metgar does make these ship with 13 rounders Metgar makes 15 round uh, flush magazines for the compact with the pinky extension uh, I believe Greg coat LLC was selling them for about 25 bucks something like that uh, here's a size comparison to the M11 A1. So you're getting a longer barrel there. But look at how much more you're getting on the sight radius. So that's going to help you in shooting. And then the old Glock 19. Let's compare it to that. Since everybody seems to have adopted the Glock 19 as the comparison of all comparisons. Uh, this has a 4.02 inch barrel and this is four and a quarter so we'll hold it there. If you want to go beaver tail to beaver tail. There you go. The beaver tail is longer on the Beretta. So... It's adding quite a bit. If you go trigger to trigger, 
pretty minimal. Pretty minimal. You're that much longer on the grip. But you're getting two more rounds than the Glock 19. So, in my opinion, a or at least in single action, a much better trigger. So, so that's that. That's about all I can tell you about the 92X. And uh, this thing shoots well. Now, one more thing about the grips. They do get the grip uh, just right. When I had my gun shop order me this, uh, this guy, uh, I really almost ordered like some G10 checkered grips before it got here, and I'm glad I did not because Beretta has really dialed in the grip on the 92Xs. Uh, this has got good grip to it, and the, the checkering on the back and the front uh, is much better. The M9A3, they didn't uh, go aggressive enough, really. I don't even... Well, the... Uh, grips it shipped with are around here somewhere, but it's not a lot, not very aggressive on the front and back checkering, nor the grips that it came with, but man, the 92X, they get this thing just right. Just the right amount of grip to it, for me. Um, I work with my hands a lot, so uh, I don't mind it a little rough. And then the wraparound, this one's great too. You put this thing on there, this thing will really stick to your hand. But that's it. That's about all I got for you. The Beretta 92X Centurion uh, G model with the rail. And I'll get it ready to put back uh, in my nightstand and uh, put my light back on it. If you're looking for a good... Uh, you know, cheaper pistol light that's not going to break the bank. Um, this one was twenty nine ninety nine from from Amazon, and it's been pretty good as far as pistol lights go. I was actually very impressed with how bright it was. But anyway, I'll put a link to that uh, in the description if you want a nice. I give it a thumbs up for thirty bucks. This pistol light's been great. Uh, but there it is. Throw it back in the nightstand. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe and I'll see you later.